Welcome to the Five Seven Podcast. I'm your host Pre, and I'm joined by my co-host Mike Salinas. I'm also his special guest today. <laughs> What's going on, man? Just uh, walking in from a uh, just a standard day of work. Um, looking online for some movies to pirate because I've got a uh, little trip to go on this weekend. Where are you going? Just going to be to- total disclosure here, guys. Don't don't shut this off and don't turn off the dial and don't disrespect me on social media and look at my old tweets. But I'm going to go to WrestleMania. Are you going to be dressed as anything? Yeah, I thought about going as Rick Steiner again. I was uh, I was trending for about two seconds uh, two years ago as Rick Steiner in the first or second row at a show. Now, I'm not a big wrestling dork by any means. I think I was when I was younger. But I yeah, just we were. think it's, uh, it's kind of fun. You know, it's, it's a good time. But I, I, uh, I've had it on the docket. I've got my Michigan jacket. I've got my headgear. And I've thought about it. But I don't know if I have enough room in my carry-on to throw it all in. So I'm probably going to kind of not do it because the guy I'm going with, He's not dressing up as anything, so he'll be there like in Jenko jeans and a bandana, and I'm going to look like a big idiot next to him. So it wouldn't work. Actually, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. He'll, he'll probably look more out of place than I would. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, look at this cool guy. But um, but yeah, man. So I'll be uh, flying out here, and uh, I got uh, you know, to still pack. I'll be flying out in a Tomorrow. What are you taking with you? Underwear. That's it? <laughs> uh, you know, man, I have no idea yet. No clue. have not packed, not uh, put it together. It's kind of like I'm not a very good packing planner. Like I plan for electronic devices like, hey, I'm going to need charger. I get that stuff ready, you know, and my headphones or whatever. It's like, oh, just in case I don't have – I need two sets of headphones because one that has the, the iPhone – Extension and one has the traditional 3.5 millimeter extension. But overall, when it comes to the clothing and what I'm going to wear, I have no idea. And usually it's all dirty. Your iPhone doesn't have the uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack? No, it has the uh, the stupid jack they put in there. I mean, there's an extension piece to it, but I don't know where it's at. Oh, okay. It's in, it's, it's in the box. I keep the boxes somewhere. and I, I, I don't know where, the, where I put that at. Which iPhone do you have? Uh, seven. Oh, okay. Seven. So when are you going to get Seven. that? Uh, are you going to get that X? Never. No? No, no. I'm done with the iPhone after this one. Really? Yeah. Matter of fact, as soon as this thing breaks, I can't wait to throw it into traffic. Wow, dude. You've got like four more years before that thing hits the dust. Those things last forever. Well, the battery's starting to go a little bit. It's not holding it as well as it used to. I think they'll replace that for free. I think they've got a battery replacement program. Don't, don't you tell me that because I'm trying to get rid of this fucking thing. I know thing. you are. I was hoping to go back to Windows, but, you know. No, that, that ship has <laughs> sailed. The, the app store is, is depleted. It's like there's only two apps left on there. Yeah, they they deprecated that a while ago. Yeah, one is Napster and one is uh, Kazaa. Those are the only apps <laughs> they have left on that. So what are you going to do when you, it's, when you, it's, when you it's need Kaza. to get a new phone? Probably going to go to Android, man. What are you, uh, what are you looking to get? Uh, you know, I like the Google phones. By that by that point in time, it may be on the Google three phone. Who knows? Four, you mean? Whatever, four, four and yeah, a half. Yeah, the three is out now. Four and a quarter. I'm actually looking to get. I might get the Google Pixel four. Uh, this. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I do man, like I, Samsung, man. I mean, they. Uh, you know, the the hardware is really really good. Uh, it's just that they put like their own like UI over it, their user interface over it. Mm-hmm. And up until now, they have the one UI out now for Android 9. And it's it's really nice and it, and it works really well. But uh, I, I think I'd like to get the pure Android experience. And I hear that the, the cameras on the Pixel phones are really, really good. Yeah, might as well, man. I did something to my phone where I dropped it like right when I first got it and the lens has been scratched ever since. Really? So it's pretty annoying. Does it have like uh, – do, do you have like dots in your pictures when you take them? No, it just affects it when there's light, like sunlight. You could see like a bit of like a, a streak of some sort. Oh, man. Yeah, it's kind of kind of sucks. And how long has that been going on? For years. 
maybe two years. Holy shit, I would have had that replaced immediately. Yeah. I don't really care. <laughs> you don't take many pictures? Not not really. Not nothing of quality. Like, oh, this is a beautiful sunset. Let me take a picture of that. Like, eh, nah, I don't care. You don't take pictures of Vincent or anything? I'll take a picture of my kid, but it doesn't really impact it unless there's like sunlight. Oh, it has okay. to be like sunlight to impact it. Okay. So if I was looking at like a picturesque thing, I couldn't use my phone. Like, oh, this is a it's a beautiful sunset we've got today. Okay. My phone wouldn't be the one you want to use. <laughs> you know, last year I've always, you know, I've never seen a, um, I won't say I've never seen, but I don't think I've really noticed sunsets when like the colors go like purple and pink. And mm. uh, last year, um, yeah, no, I take that back. I have, but I guess I haven't really been watching sunsets over the past few years. So, uh, Dude, it's, it's, I mean, it's how beautiful. much time do you have to have in your hand to watch a goddamn sunset? You know, like everyone's like, this is a beautiful sunset we have every day here. Like, yeah, I mean, unless maybe you sit outside, like fuck. on your, you sit out on your, on your recliner and watch the sunset. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, but you know, up until the summer point, like the sun is usually down when you're leaving for work and it's down when you get home. Yeah. So yeah, you don't definitely. even get to see the sun. You don't see the sun for half the year in the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. I saw a really nice one last last year. It was like purple and and pink. It was it was unbelievable. It was great. You're like that. That's a beaut. Yeah, it was a nice. It was a beautiful. It was a beaut. <laughs> oh man, I tell you what. Right now we were talking about some stuff off the off the line. Right now we've got some funny, interesting things, dynamics going on in, in my workplace, and this is uh, issues where there's movement. Movement having of, uh, you know, people have to be moved around and segregating different hierarchy, you know, um, different leadership groups go in this area, uh, the subordinates go in this area, things of that nature. Right now, everything's kind of mixed in together. And a lot of people aren't too, too happy with this, man. So I'm, I'm having to hear a lot of complaints about people having to move because uh, they don't like this and they want to find a reason. They think they're picking on them. You know, I think like right now all this stuff that's going on in the media has been fueling everybody to give them these ideas like, oh, they've got it out for me. Oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, it's because I'm brown. Oh, it's because they don't like me because I'm old. Oh, it's because I'm too young. You know, everyone has like this excuse as to why they're being quote unquote picked on or moved into another office or another location. And it's it's really like annoying the hell out of me. I think it's one thing to kind of maybe look into things and see like, hey, what's the deal going on here? And it's another thing to uh, for people to start looking for excuses, you know. And I think generally a lot of people look for excuses because um, they know that they're not putting in the the required effort into things. So they're looking for an excuse to maybe try to mitigate that. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people nowadays that are really shitty at their job. I mean, it's really unbelievable. I was at Subway yesterday. And this guy was just telling me how, man, nobody does any work here. And he's like cussing and he's explaining to me how everyone sucks at, the, at his job and he can't wait to leave because the person that didn't show up for work to replace him called off because they needed to get a haircut. And <laughs> They called off the whole shift because they needed yeah. to get a haircut? Yeah. What kind of yeah, so freaking haircut was it? He, he, I don't have no idea what he's explaining. He's like, who, who does that, man? Who does that? Who does that kind of stuff? I said, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't work here. I'd probably whoop their ass if I was you. You know, he's like, you know what, I'm out of here. So after he made my sandwich, he's like, I'm out of here. He just like didn't make the sandwich for the next person and they just waited there. I don't know what the hell happened. He just I got left? Yeah, like he went to the back. He's like, I'm not I'm not working here, up here by myself anymore. F this, you know? And he just went to the back. And I don't know what happened with the next person that came up, but it's like nobody, like, you know, they, they have better things they could be doing. You know, and that's what he kept telling me. I could be doing something better. I'm a businessman. I could be doing something better as he's uh, stuffing my sandwich with, with uh, provolone cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I could be doing something so much better, that, better than this right now. You know, I, I got businesses to run and I'm, I'm over here uh, putting ranch dressing on your sandwich. Well, and, when, and when you got your sandwich, was it like this, like nuked, like – a ball of a, of of cheese and and lettuce and bread, dude. He did a wonderful job because he just overstuffed it with too much shit. Like he oh, didn't really? care. Like he was so pissed off. He put like double meat in there. So when I got it, the meat was just like overflowing. I was like, wow, I should piss that kid off more often. Yeah, and I know how you are about that meat. You love that that extra meat. <laughs> I said, anytime I can get some extra meat, I'm all in. <laughs> 
I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll, be go, I'll be going back to that subway every day because I can get some extra meat. You know, he might not even be there anymore because uh, he might be on to bigger and better things. Dude, I've been at that subway. It's, it's close to work. So I've been there. I've worn out for a while. And I used to go there at least once a week. And there was always a new – somebody new there every time I went. <laughs> like they, they can't hold people to save their life. And that's kind of like the, the uh, epidemic right now in America, right? Like no one's no one wants to work. No one wants to go for jobs. They think there's better things they could be doing. I heard a statistic a couple weeks ago that says that uh, th- between – let's see here. Now and I think uh, – what was it, man? I want to say now and since maybe 2008 or 2009, this is the lowest that lowest amount of people that have been on welfare. Right. That's wild. So what the hell are they doing? So either welfare or food stamps. It means they're working. You think? Yeah. But I think – you think that or you think it's just more people are staying at home and living with their families? Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know. Right. I mean, like, what contributes to it? Because I feel like, I mean, obviously there are, I, I just feel like there's like more, there's a lot more shittier jobs available. You know, like, if you want to work at McDonald's and they're paying more, but there's a lot of these frontline jobs that are out there. People want the six figure jobs off the bat and they're not too happy when they don't get them right out of college. So you got to shovel a little, little shit here and there. But I don't know. I, I just don't know what that contributes to. I think it's a great statistic that people are more people are leaving it. But why? I mean, I just don't understand what would change somebody's mindset. If you're a lazy fuck and you don't want to work, all of a sudden you're just going to get off food stamps. Why? I don't know. I think that I think that it could be um, it could be related to a, a strong economy and people out there working, man. I mean, I would, I, mean, I, would I, like, I would like I would like to say that it is. Yeah, man. I hope it is. Um, I hope that is the case. You know, as far as, you know, what really baffles me is that, you know, I get it that, you know, you want to raise minimum wage, but wasn't the purpose of minimum wage so that you could have an entry level position, meaning entry level isn't really a career. So you want to move on and, <laughs> and move up. And so when people are saying that I can't live off of minimum wage, isn't it like minimum wage isn't meant to be, you know, a, a livable wage? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Like you're supposed to want more. You're supposed to want to get higher so that you are above minimum wage. You know, this it, isn't this isn't supposed to be it. You know, like this is all that I'm going to make, you know? Mm-hmm. It's an appetizer, man. You know, you don't go to the steakhouse and get the steak right at the beginning. Got to get that soup, maybe a little salad. Yeah. A little breadstick, something. Yeah. I think you start up with the breadsticks and maybe a little soup. Yeah, I don't see why not. Before you get to that fillet. Exactly. Take it easy. Slide into it. You don't want to just jump right into a steak. <laughs> Fucking lose it. <laughs> no, it just I just I don't know. It just bother I mean, I, it bothers me. It bothers me that there's that there's an idea that you're supposed to be able to live off of minimum wage and and you're not supposed to. Yeah. Indiana was doing that that thing where I was sharing with you where they tried to push the minimum wage into the Illinois land, you know, where every job minimum wage would jump to fifteen dollars, and then like two dollars, it, it would jump. I think a dollar, two dollars every year or two after that for the next ten years. So I think what was the minimum? So wage it would be like two dollars, two dollars every ten years. No, like two dollars every year. It was crazy. I I sent it to you. It was a while back. We looked at it, but they uh, they submitted this thing, and I was like, "There's no way they're gonna and they're not approving this because it would have happened in 2018." I think it was, or 2019. But yeah, I mean, they were basically projecting the minimum wage in like 2026 was going to be like 20, close to like 20, like $24, man, in Indiana. Like Indiana, $24 minimum wage? Why? I mean, we'd have to measure inflation as well, but. Oh, sure. But. uh, But, And we're talking inflation, I think on average has been one, one and a half percent over the last seven years. It's actually, you know, or something to that nature. It was a slight increase recently in the past year, but so so then maybe do you think that there maybe there should be some kind of legislation that ties the uh, minimum wage with the inflation rate? Maybe so that I'm sorry, I, I so, shouldn't say one and a half percent like total. I should, it was one and a half year over year. Sorry, 
Okay, so <laughs> if if inflation goes up one point five percent every year, then yeah. you know maybe the minimum wage should go up that much as well. Maybe yeah, the wages I mean, uh, period should go up uh, as well. Oh man, I don't know. Because if you if you only raise minimum wage, there's going to be a point where you have people that are working in offices that are making the same amount of money that people who are flipping burgers are. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So there's going to be a big disparity in 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 positions. You know, it's like why should mm-hmm. I go to college to to be a dental hygienist when I could just flip burgers for uh, sixty five thousand dollars a year? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean that sounds nuts, but it, I mean it'll get to a point where it would it would be something like that. Yeah, and sixty five thousand dollars would be the poverty level. That's not, yeah. <laughs> like oh man, this guy's he's really roughing it over here. He's only <laughs> he's only eighteen years old, he's making sixty five thousand. What a piece of shit! <laughs> I love telling that story, man. I, I think I've told you about it. Where I was at the bar one day, and this guy's like, "Hey man, what's going on?" And I'm like, "Hey, nothing, man. Just uh, just hanging out. Just got off work." He's like, work. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I was. He's like, I, I kind of do something like that. I was like, oh yeah, that, that's cool, man. He's like, how about I get you, you get you around? I was like, great, yeah, man. I'll take a beer. Orders me a beer. I don't know why this guy was being nice to me. He was like a friend of a friend. And so I drink, sit there, drink the beer. And one of my buddies comes over. He's like, oh man, you're you're hanging out with. I forgot what the guy's name was, but he's like, oh, you, you know, you know this guy. I was like, no, nah, I don't know. He's like, man, this guy's big time. I was like, oh, he he is. He's he's for real big time. Like well, he's telling me he is. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm a pretty big deal, man. You know, I got uh, I got a lot of money. I was he like, told oh, you no. that he told you that he's a big deal. Yeah, he's a big deal. He's got a lot of money. And I was like, oh, that's awesome, dude. I was like, well, shit. Then drinks all night on you. He's like, oh, that's fine with me. He's like, I got no problem buying drinks all night. And I was like, great. Well, you'll be buying mine all night. <laughs> and um, I was like, so what do you do, man? He's like, well, uh, I'm my uh, supervisor at Menards. So I'm like, uh, I'm just in charge of shit, you know. I don't really like, I don't really like work. I just, I'm just in charge. I was like, what? The hell he's does like, that mean? Yeah, he, he's a, a supervisor at Menards, and I'm like, so he's like, yeah, I'm. Uh, I just made about 28k last year, <laughs> 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 and he said this with a straight face at me. Really? And I'm looking at him I'm like. No shit, man, huh? Yeah, and his buddy's like, yeah. I don't think his buddies knew how much he made. They just all assumed he was uh, big time <laughs> and made more than that. But he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, so I, mean, I just got, you know, I, my job, man, I just do. I, I, all right, he said he, he doesn't work. He's just, he just looks over things. He's a supervisor, so he doesn't really need to work. He's he's big time. But I thought it was uh, it was quite delusional, man, on his part to be like, and I was like, is this guy, I thought he was punking me, if I can use that term still. <laughs> I would think I would think so. I would think I was getting punked out. Dude, I was looking around for cameras punked. and shit. I'm like, is, is there cameras? Can I laugh? Can I laugh at this guy? Can I be like, you piece of shit? But then I was like, you know what? I do want more free beers from this guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I completely continued to stroke his ego. Like, man, you're fucking. You you run shit, huh? You fucking. What what district do you run? I mean, how many stores do you have under you? You know, it's like, oh, you know. He's <laughs> <laughs> You, it's like, well, you said you were a big time, but I had no idea that you were like capital B, capital yeah. T, big time. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, you could probably build your own house if you want to. He's like, yeah, I could. I'm like, wow, how about another beer, huh? He's like, absolutely. All right, <laughs> keep, going. Keep, keep him coming. Keep him coming, Charlie. Keep him coming. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was about seven or eight beers in, man. And I was like, this is great. I'm just going to keep fucking with this guy and keep getting more beers. <laughs> you remember, By the end when, of the night, remember when we used to play beer pong at Franco's? Yes. Oh, not beer pong. We used to play ping pong. Both. Yeah. Well, yeah, we played both, dude. There were sometimes, even during the summertime, when we would we would walk in there, and there was people everywhere. There's people on the mm-hmm. dance floor. There's people like in the bar area. You go downstairs. There's people on the ping pong tables. People playing pool. You go outside in the back. There's people <laughs> throwing bags. I'm like, man, <laughs> this place is off the freaking chain. Yeah. And it's dude. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday night, 85 degrees out. I'm like, hot oh, man, life can't get any better. Anybody need another cigarette? They're on me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, Pete Franco's never cleaned the place. So it's like, yeah. I think people stopped going there because they're like, man, there's probably salmonella all over, all over these bags. <laughs> <laughs> the place needed, a, the place needed a, to be nuked with bleach. Dude, it was really bad. I mean, I can only imagine playing beer pong down there. The balls were getting so dirty in the floor. I mean, yeah. the water would just be filled with shit after just a, a quarter through the game. <laughs> did, did you did you see uh, 
have, didn't you tell me that the dude who used to work the front door with the beard, <laughs> the guy <laughs> with the bouncer? <laughs> He got laid out multiple times. What? Yeah. No, I mean, I was going to bring up that I thought that he shaved his beard. Oh, he did. He did. Did he get I mean, laid? Did he get laid out after he shaved his beard? No, I think he got laid out before that. He got laid out a couple <laughs> times because I said uh, I was talking to one, one of the frequenters there, my buddy Josh, and I said, "Man, did you hear that story about how Andy got laid out?" He's like, "Yeah, he got laid out again last week." <laughs> So this happened multiple times? Yeah, dude. They said uh, the last time he said, he told me about it, and this is years ago he was telling me about it, but he said he laid the, the the bouncer came over to try to stop this fight. The dude just punched the bouncer in the face. He went down and just started sleeping. He was he was snoring. Like he, oh he's like, I went over gosh. there. He's like, I ran over there, man, to see how he was, and he was sleeping on the floor. I heard him snoring. Oh, my gosh, dude. I was like, wow, man. I mean, he used to be pretty uh, – he thought he was a pretty tough guy in oh, high did school. He? Yeah. But um, he was always pretty, he was always pretty cool with me. Yeah, dude, he was a real nice guy. But obviously, he had a a chin made of uh, balsa wood. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a, a Franco's was a good time. You know, I think it's funny how we get off from from the inflation uh, inflation <laughs> rates <laughs> correlating with salary to uh, Franco's. This is what happens when you have ADHD, man. Or, you start or, jumping but, around. <laughs> you telling me, man? <laughs> big time, big time. Maybe I'll start calling you big time from now on. <laughs> <laughs> big time, a big time, big time. Man, I wish I wish I could go find that fucker, man. I, I'd make him go buy me some more beers. What, didn't the cops? Weren't the cops there a few times? Did you ever have the excise police show up? Yeah, one time. Those guys, man. Those guys. What a bunch of fucking assholes, man. Dude, we, I was at Corker's. We're all drinking. It's like, uh, you know, for, uh, January, January in, in uh, the Northwest Indiana, and the excise police show up. They're yep. like, everybody outside. I was like, fuck you guys, man. I'm not fucking going anywhere. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fucking, I'm, 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 I'm over 21 years old. If you want to check everybody else's IDs, I'm not fucking going anywhere. They're like, you got to go outside, dude. I'm like, and I I told the bartender, I'm like, I'm leaving my fucking beer here. I want a fresh one when I come back. <laughs> I went outside, dude. They let they had us out there for 20 minutes, and I came back, and the guy had a fresh beer waiting for me. I'm like, thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I spit on this motherfucker twice. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I still took that fucker back to the head. This is just straight. This is just straight piss. This whole cut. <laughs> the whole thing went went straight down my fucking throat. <laughs> This cup of piss right here, just for you, you piece of shit. <laughs> Did you ever tell me you want a fresh one? This fucking picture of piss. <laughs> <laughs> you want a fresh one? You're sure enough about to get it. You're about to get one. <laughs> Been holding this for fucking four hours. <laughs> it's just one of the little stinky ones. Get that piss warm chango <laughs> waiting right here for your Mexican. You're Mexican, aren't you? You brown fuck. <laughs> You'll like one of these, buddy. Man, that's good stuff. Those are good times. Yeah, it was. It was good times. Those are good times. You just never knew who was going to show up at, uh, at Corker's. <laughs> what kind of what kind of drama you were going to get yourself into? Yeah, there's always some kind of drama going on there. Yeah, that was fun. That was fucking great times, man. I wonder what it's like going to the bars nowadays, dude. Oh, I can tell you what it's like. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of similar. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of the same. But it's like the spots are like fewer. It seems like really. I remember there was there's like multiple spots you can go to. You know, like you had like every you used to go out and you had somewhere to go every day. Every single day, dude. It seems like it's not quite like that anymore. You know, there's like a place here and there, and, and parties just tend to pop up. They're not like scheduled. You know, like oh, Mondays is this, Tuesdays is this, Wednesdays. Oh, we go over here. You know, it doesn't seem like it's it's that way at all. Things just tend to pop up, like like pop up fun. Yeah, it's kind of like a maybe they schedule these things. You know, but kids go out late too, man. You know, so like, I mean, when I'm out, I'm out. I'll, I'll stay out to two or three in the morning, but. Yeah, otherwise, you know, otherwise, dude, I mean, shit, it's hard to stay up that late. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, dude. I almost fell asleep just hearing you talk about it, staying up till 3 o'clock in the morning. You, you almost did a good old Andy over there. <laughs> <laughs> that poor mother, that poor fucking, that poor guy, that poor bastard working He's security. He's a cool guy, man. Yeah, working security, man. Nice guy. It's too bad. Had terrible chin. 
Maybe he's working at Subway now too. <laughs> if I mean, yeah, I don't know where maybe, that guy. Yeah, is maybe now. he's at Subway making uh, eighteen dollars an hour right now. <laughs> I tell you what, he wasn't at the one in the hood that I was at because nobody wanted to work there. <laughs> Everybody wanted out. Makes you wonder how old that cheese is. Damn, I don't know, man. I'm hoping who's, they. Had... Who's the owner? I have no idea. I might want to find out who who that is. He might be supporting terrorism. Man. Yeah, I don't know, man. Usually they had a I, I walked in there one day and there was this huge, huge girl just laying on the concrete out there in front of the store, in front of the subway. And it's funny, we talked about the subway yesterday and now we're talking about it again. But there was this big lady, she looked like a uh she like a big Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. In a big in a big red sweater, man. And she's laying on the floor, and on, on the on she's the ground. She's laying on the ground. Yeah, with her cell phone in her hand. She like she as she sees me pull up. I'm like, oh fuck. Now, mind you, I, I I dress up for work, so you know I look like I'm important, but I'm really not. Because I'm walking up to the subway doors. I already seen her start moving. You know, she as soon as she see my car pull up, she's already getting her getting the inertia going to get her body up. <laughs> By the time she gets her body up, you know, I'm at the door, and she's a big one, and she's like. Oh, oh. Uh, excuse me. Do you, do you have do you have some change? You got? Can you spare a couple of dollars? You know, I'm like, I was like, I don't, uh, I don't carry cash. You're like, oh, oh, all right. I'm like, yeah. Why don't you sit down before you run out of breath? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd give it to you, but I don't think, judging by your, uh, judging by your effort here, I don't think you'd be able to carry the extra weight. Yeah, man, I, was, I really don't carry change on me or any kind of cash. She's like, well, and then she tells me, she tells me some fucked up shit. She's like, well, I got the, I got the cube. If you need it, you can swipe it. <laughs> so she what has her, she, she has the cube on her phone. So it's like what uh, cube, the 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 cube that hooks into your your iPhone, so you okay. can swipe your your credit card, your debit card. Oh, and, no kidding! And give her money. She's like, uh, 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 I, got, uh, I got the cube, you know, and she's got her cell phone in her hand. Like, it's a brand new a Samsung S8. S9, Sounds like you're talking to freaking uh, General Grievous over there from Star Wars. <laughs> Dude, she was a hoss. General Kenobi. At, the, <laughs> Dude, at that point, I was just completely offended that she pulled out the cube on me. And she's like, you can just swipe, you can just swipe your cards right here. You could, you could insert it. You could insert the chip right here. You know, like, what the fuck are you? Are you an ATM? Get the fuck out of here. You know, <laughs> big mama. Yeah. I was like, no, nah, listen, that ain't happening. I'm not swiping my card for you. For what? It's like, oh, uh, uh, well, that's when I walked in. I like, didn't want to hear her finish the sentence. I'm like, I, I can't, I can't wait. I got to eat. <laughs> but when was I walked she, in, when I walked was out, she, she was gone. Okay, okay, that's what I wanted. To see. Maybe she was just a figment of your imagination. <laughs> Maybe she was, man, because there ain't no way she could have moved that fast. <laughs> Especially she, since she couldn't get up since when you got there. <laughs> I mean, she could have been hiding behind a big ass pine tree for all I know. <laughs> Maybe she fell behind it. She's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 This is, this is fucked up. I know it is. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Guys, don't let yourself go like that. Do never let yourself yeah. do that. Yes, please. And you if, you, if you go through hard times, don't pull out the cube on somebody when you're trying to get change from them. It's you a know, bad idea. Maybe we, should, maybe we should get into fitness a little bit, dude. We should get into fitness. And you know, we got we to gotta tell people, dude, it's getting warm outside and you got to get your fitness in. Because you do not want to end up where it takes you – effort to do the menial things in life you know like get up out of a chair or or get up uh or uh, you know walk up three flights of stairs if you're walking up three flights flights of stairs and you're out of breath that's not good yeah it's like when you're getting pedaling up a, a heavy hill you don't want that to be your body just trying to get up from just the floor <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i mean it's you know b- becoming fit isn't something that's you know, I don't want to say it's. Do you think it's difficult, dude, to be fit? Uh, if you mean fit by being no, like what healthy, I, what I, yeah, yeah. What what I mean is, I'm not talking about being like a like a CrossFit athlete. Gotcha. I mean, I mean like somebody who can who can go to the gym and uh, I don't know, knock out fifty push ups, uh, go do some uh, go do some lunges, 
um, some pull-ups, uh, maybe do some accessory work like curls and, and triceps, and then maybe end it up with, uh, I don't know, five minutes on the rower and call it a day. You know, I mean, that doesn't sound like, like too much, does it? No. I, I mean, I don't think so, but I don't I think a lot of people are going to do that, especially if they're at an older age. You know, if you're, I think that's when he st- really starts getting troublesome. You know, when you're in your 60s and you're you're overweight, that's when you're like, I can't. My knees hurt because there's too much weight, but I can't walk because of the weight. What do I yeah. do? You know, that's when you start doing ellipticals or doing bikes to try to ease up the the weight that are going on your legs. And yeah, but, but I mean, like, I mean, the, the point is, is that is that you want to get into to have some kind of basic fitness before you even get to that point, you know? Dude, some people are just too far gone, player. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but there's a, I mean, there's a game plan for that too, you know. I mean, you, you know, you don't have to. What, what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to go to the gym and and, uh, and and kill it, you know. All you have to do is just is get some kind of physical activity in, get some kind of a uh, cardiovascular work in. And you know you're you're good to go, but you need to you need to do something you know like every day, you know some kind of a of 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 activity you know every day. Yeah, I think as long as you're walking, you know, and you're eating right. Yeah, I mean, go for a walk after after dinner. You know, go for a half hour walk with your spouse or your kids after dinner. If you're if you're not getting to the gym, and if you if you're at home and you know you don't want to go, then knock out some push ups and some 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 leg lifts and uh, and some some uh what are they called man some planks at home yeah you know and some lunches down a hallway you know i mean you just have to do something or maybe even some of your your patented favorite yoga yeah f- fucking yoga is fantastic for you because of- i mean ev- everybody could use some mobility in their life you know not to mention the not to mention the mental upsides for that that's right you can even do ddp yoga if you want to get really frisky Dude, he's really helped out people, man. He's really helped out a lot of people with uh, with with yoga and with with fitness. And uh, didn't he help Scott Hall with alcoholism? Yep. Yeah, dude, he got him into his. Uh, he's gotten multiple people into his fitness programs and, and yoga. And I I I, I support that stuff one hundred and ten percent. You know, I'm I'm still upset that none of the sharks on Shark Tank wanted any part of that business. Really? Yeah, he was on Shark Tank with it. And I didn't know that. He was looking for an investment of like $100,000 to do something, you know, and they were like, I don't believe in this. <laughs> fucking, this is this is garbage. Yeah, but look at everybody on there. Every single one of them is fucking overweight. Yeah, every one of them is a chode. Well, no, um, the other guy, not not Cuban, the guy that's always on the right side. Cub- Cuban's overweight. Oh, yeah. His, his head is pretty fucking big, though. Look like a big sausage. Yeah, it's because he's overweight. That's why. <laughs> Wait, because his head is fat? Yeah, Gotta. look at dude. To, to, uh, pull up, pull up David Goggins. To pull up David Goggins fat and take a look at David Goggins I've, now. Everybody has seen David Goggins fat until now. Yeah, but look at his look at his head though. But not everybody's David Goggins. No, but I'm saying is like look at his head. <laughs> I understand, but he's not like no, a, a hugely but, obese but, guy, dude. It's no, Mark Cuban. No. Hold is, on, hold is, on a second. David Goggins. Look is at a how bigger. big David. Yeah, look at how big he was, and look at his size yeah. now. Sure. Look at his his head size. Oh, I'm sure it shrunk up a little bit. It's just, it's a complete difference. And I'm sure it, it but I don't think like that gotta be a fatter. Wasn't this guy fatter than this? I'm seeing photos of him, but I feel like he should be bigger. He was like two hundred ninety, like seven pounds at one point. What does he weigh? I mean, what's his height though? I think six one. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah, and look at him now. Look at his head now. <coughs> do you think that has more to do with the neck? No. Do you think his hat? Do you think like his hat, his hat size changed? I think. I think so. we need to ask him that. I think we should ask him that. He's like, whoa, when I was, well, I was fat as fuck. I had a nine. I wore a nine and a hat, and now I wear a seven and a quarter. Maybe, because you get all that fat off of your head. I don't know, man. I like to know that, though. I don't know anybody that's been that fat and, and got down from that to really say, like, yeah, man. It does look like he, his head did shrink down substantially. Maybe his brain shrunk, too. Maybe he got turned into a big idiot. No, dude, he's the shit. 
But what I'm what I'm trying to say is is that you know Cuban's head is just because he's he's overweight. And I'm, I'm not cutting him down. You know, whatever. If he wants to be overweight, that's fine. If I, I was a billionaire and I was overweight, I wouldn't give a shit either. I think he's uh, his hair is pretty bad. I mean, he's got a terrible haircut. Yeah, he does. You know, like when my hair grows long, man, my head looks fatter. I mean, I mean, if I was a billionaire, I would still take care of myself. Oh man, depends if you discovered McDonald's or something like that. No. Then I'd be I'd be a fat fuck too. No, dude, you'd have to you have you'd be worth. I mean, you'd just be you'd have a time on your hands. I don't understand how you're calling Mark Cuban like overweight. I just saw him like a couple weeks ago. I don't know, man. He doesn't look overweight to me. Share your screen. Let's see here. Uh, here have a have a ga- have a gander. So I've got Mark Cuban pulled up and his uh, he's just looking older, but um, he doesn't look like anything going on too bad with him. I and mean, maybe he has a couple cheeseburgers here and there. It makes him look a little bloated. Yeah. Oh, well, but overall, it stems from us. Uh, he didn't invest in DDP yoga, and it's his loss. <laughs> yeah, I think it's everybody's loss if you're not doing yoga. That's just fantastic. Just, I mean, just being able to be more mobile is, uh, is, is, uh, is a huge attribute to have with your everyday life, especially as we get older. I don't know about you, but I've got a disorder. It's the uh, Benjamin Button disorder, so... I'm not so getting you're older. Getting, I'm getting younger. You're getting younger. I'm, I'm meeting you right now at the halfway point, but uh, from this point on, I'm going downwards. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're going downhill, dude. So I'm gonna be a, <laughs> I'm gonna be a baby in like 35 years. So uh, I'm gonna need you to fucking wipe my ass in about 33 years. <laughs> you know. You know what's the worst part about having this Benjamin Button disorder is my uh, my penis shrinks and it sucks. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so while your shit's getting all like hanging lower and lower, mine's just. Shrinking up like a like a dried up prune. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't know if it's hard or not. I don't even know anymore. My puberty's going backwards. The hair's falling out. It's, it's <laughs> fucked up, man. It's a fucking mess. Well, that's all I got, man. You got anything else? No, no, nothing at all. All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks for supporting us. Check us out fifty seven podcast dot com and at our Instagram and Facebook sites. And uh, that's all we got for you. This is Pre and Mike out. Mm-hmm.